One of the most important features of any website is the navigation bar. And Bootstrap provides several classes to construct really, really awesome navigation bars. And you can do all sorts of things. You can add buttons, logos, drop downs, and even search boxes. So that's what we're going to cover over the next several videos. So the first thing we're going to do is construct a basic navigation bar in Bootstrap in this video. So the first thing we want to do is create a div. Now for the first element, you can either use a div or you can use the HTML5 nav element. We're going to go ahead and use the HTML5 nav element. Now the first thing you need to call is the navbar class. That's one of the main classes and you guessed it, that actually just tells Bootstrap we're creating a navigation bar. So let's go ahead and put that in and again it is navbar. Now the next class we need to call is navbar again. Now a lot of people have emailed me and asked me why do I have to specify all of these classes in Bootstrap? Why is there all of this repetition? Well first of all Bootstrap uses classes. That's the main way you construct whatever it is you want to construct. Second of all they provide a great deal of customization. So I mean I guess they could just provide one class but really what they want to do is provide a whole lot of different options. So that's why this can seem very repetitive, but again, there is a method to their madness. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to specify navbar again. And here is where we can use an option. And the first option we're going to use is the default option. And this will just provide a default styling to our navigation bar. And we'll actually switch this a little bit later on, but for now we're going to use the default option. And let's go ahead and close out our nav. Now we need to specify another div and another bootstrap class. Actually, this is our first div, not our second div. So again, we need to specify another class. And the class we're going to specify here is container-fluid. And basically what this tells Bootstrap to do is to expand the nav bar all the way across the browser. So basically this will give us a responsive nav bar. Whatever size the browser window is at, it will expand out to the size of the browser window. So this is an important one to have. Okay, now we need to go ahead and start adding our menu items. And in this video, we're going to add buttons. And of course, that means we need a UL element along with LI element. So let's go ahead and create our UL element. And now we need to call yet another Bootstrap class. And that class is the nav class. This is the Bootstrap class that you'll always call inside your UL element. So nav, and then we need to call the nav bar class again. And the option that we're going to use here is nav. That's all we need. So this is the basic structure that you need right here. You need to first create the nav bar, then you create the container, which in this case is going to be a fluid container, and then you need the UL element and these two bootstrap classes. And now we're ready to go ahead and add our buttons. But first, let's go ahead and actually close this out. And there we go. Now, as I said, we're ready to add our buttons. And what do we use for that? We use the li element, of course. So let's go ahead and create our first button. And we're actually going to call another bootstrap class. And I'll explain what this does in a second. And that class is active. And basically what this does is it highlights the button that is active. And in this case, we're going to set this to the home button. And we only will actually use this with our first button because we only want one button active at a time. And then, of course, we need our anchor link. And we're just going to put a pound sign in here for now, but you can put whatever link you wish to put in here. And then, as I said, this is going to be our home button. And then we just need to close out, of course, the anchor link. And, of course, now we need to close out the LI element. And there we go. We've got our very first button. Now, let's just go ahead and put in a few more buttons here. And let's go ahead and just copy and paste this. Now, as I said, we don't want both of these buttons active at the same time, so we're going to get rid of the bootstrap class for the second one. This is just going to be a regular LI element. And let's uh, say we need a news section. So let's go ahead and put that here. And let's go ahead and copy and paste this again. And we'll call this lifestyle. How about that? And let's create one more button. And we'll call this one entertainment. How about that? Okay, good. I think we're all ready to go here. Let's go ahead and save this. And then let's launch this in Chrome. And let's see what we get here. There you can see. Look at that. It worked. And take a look at that. The home button is active, as you can see. It's highlighted. Now, we can also change the overall color of this, and there are many different styles that Bootstrap will provide. So let's go back here. And as I said, this is just sort of the default look. And you'll remember that's what we specified. Let's go back to our HTML, though, and let's go ahead and flip this to inverse. 
and you will see what this does in a second. So let's go ahead and launch this in Chrome and take a look at that. Now our navigation bar is black. So some people like this style instead. But as I said, there are different styles that you can pick and choose, and we'll cover those in the upcoming videos. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. We will continue on with the navigation bar in the next video. Thank you.